All right, guys, when I get done talking here, I'm going to post a video of the Rialto police chief talking about an incident that occurred on Friday. There's also going to be in this video security camera footage from the gas station's security camera and body camera footage from the Rialto police department officers that were involved in the incident. Now, it happened at a gas station on Foothill Boulevard in the city of Rialto, California. I've actually not only cop watched Rialto Police Department, I've cop watched at this gas station. Um, and what happened was apparently they went to investigate a possible shooting call, um, you know, maybe an unrelated shooting. And you'll see that this guy, David, I forgot his name, but I think it's mentioned in the video. He's from San Bernardino approaches one of the police cars and an altercation breaks out. He stabs some of the officers until he's fatally shot uh, for attacking them with a knife. Now, one of the officers is still in the hospital recovering from his injuries. And uh, I will say that although I have a couple of videos where I had some exchanges with uh, not so positive exchanges with the Rialto Police Department. And it was because um, either I got a spotlight from their car shined into my face or I had one that got upset simply because I was recording in public. He didn't want me recording him. He said, look, I'm trying to work here. You're, you're making me feel unsafe. And I thought all I have is a camera, dude. And, you know, but even though, you know, I, I have had some of those exchanges, the majority of my exchanges with the Rialto Police Department has been positive. Um, I hope that this officer recovers. Uh, I hope that he gets back on the job soon. I don't wish any harm or any um, danger to these officers. And, you know, this guy had a knife and he was attacking them. He stabbed one of the officers. It was unprovoked, as you'll see in the uh, body camera footage. And I say, look, if you're going to attack a police officer who has a gun on his hip, don't bring a knife to a gunfight. That's what they say. And you'll hear a, and you'll hear a police chief Kling talk about these occurrences are happening all too often in our region. Uh, for instance, the Compton deputies who were shot just sitting in their police cars. Um, and he also says that, you know, the officers are out there putting their lives on the line every day to protect us. And I won't disagree with that, but I will say that us cop watchers who go out there, and I'm talking about cop watchers that are there for accountability and transparency you know like myself i'm not out there to make cops look bad or to cuss them out or flip them off if i do have a negative exchange with one of those police officers it's usually provoked or instigated on their part like swinging your spotlight on your car so that it's in my face and in my camera um, or telling me go away get out of here you know, you're making me feel unsafe with your camera and I'm trying to do my job. You know, just why not just say, hey, how's it going, bud? All right. Keep it rolling for me, you know, because we're watching your back just as much as anybody else's. But what I want to say is we're also putting our lives on the line. We're also out there with you while you're doing your job and we're recording. What if I was recording that as a cop watch? Like, hey, what's going on here? And the guy saw me there and just comes at me with a knife for no reason. Just because I'm standing there recording and goes, oh, I'm going to take this guy out too. It could have happened. I would have been in the area. I definitely would have been somewhere near their police cars. So, again, you know, um, I guess I'm saying all this to say that hopefully the police officers that know about this Rialto PD incident and watch this video here. If you do, if you're listening to me now, you're obviously watching it. We'll understand that if you see a cop watcher recording you on a traffic stop or something else, don't look at us as look at this son of a bitch. He's trying to catch me doing something wrong. Why don't you get out of here or whatever? Just say, Hey bud, how's it going? Keep it rolling, man. Keep us safe. Keep us accountable and go back to do your job. You know, if you make a mistake, we all make mistakes. Uh, but if you're going to do something that you know is wrong and you know is sneaky because you take shortcuts. I had a captain in the army once say you take shortcuts sooner or later, you're going to lose a finger. Uh, so watch where you cut, you know, and it's the same way for, for every occupation, but particularly police officers, just do your job according to the policies set in place and the laws and statutes of the land. And you won't have a problem, but you want to take shortcuts uh, maybe try to violate someone's rights just so you can get an arrest. That's not how we work. 
Okay, that's called criminal. I don't. That's just that's dishonest. Uh, but that said, I'm not going to belabor this anymore. Just understand when we're recording you, officers, it's not only to record you, but it's also to record for you. Um, in this instance, what if they didn't have their body cameras on? What if somebody's body cam faltered and the guy said, somebody said they just shot that guy for no reason. And what if I had been recording and they said, well, there was a guy over there recording. They look at my video and go, he had a knife. You see where I'm going with this? So hopefully we can in the year 2021 begin to build a bridge between cop watchers and the cops and not look at cameras so much as this SOBs over here recording me again. No, instead say, hey, man, keep us all honest. Community Leo Watch, watching Leos as law enforcement officers to include the Rialto PD from coast to coast. Warning, some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. A man with a knife attempted to murder two of our police officers while they were conducting an unrelated shooting investigation. During the attack, one of our officers was stabbed in the abdomen. A taser was deployed twice during the altercation, but was ineffective and the subject continued to lunge at officers with the knife. After the officer was stabbed, another officer fired several rounds at the subject who ultimately died from those injuries. Call Ferry, call Ferry, see one. Two officers were transported to a local hospital for their injuries. One of the officers remains in the hospital and is recovering from the stab wound. Thank you, Angie. Cut off. Dude, you get me? I don't know. It just hurts. This attack on our officers today is just one of many that is occurring all too often in our region. It is my hope that this incident will bring awareness to you so that you'll understand the dangers that law enforcement officers face every day in their attempts to protect you.